anything. Okay, so we're gonna do the account review or my account review now for this year or rather the characters that I got this year 2022 and once again ah. we're gonna start with the very first one I got which was Hyunjin she had her first run I think with Shenha and that was on January 5th but I do have my list here so and I built her with two piece two piece uh Defender's will and husk pieces to get most or to get the most defense out of her and with deathmatch for this buff of defense well we don't really need that much crit rate especially with this crit damage but that's what I have although sometimes I use the Favonius Lance on her and like I said earlier my my stats my artifacts are scattered because i just did an ayato guide which you guys should check out i am about to be finished i'm gonna upload it tomorrow so yeah these are her artifacts two piece defender as well of course i used the flower and feather for uh for the defender well because we want our main stats for sands goblet and circlet to be from five stars we only get so much from the flower and feather i mean from the four stars uh, artifacts so yeah these are her artifacts and constellation c6 i cannot remember when i got this but i think it was pretty early on of course not on her first run but yeah and then i would have loved to maximize or ground her um burst but uh, i'm good with that preserving it for for dps characters and then with her was shenha shenha really loved her character and this is her stats these are her stats um we get although this is still on the low side and i don't have the blizzard spray on her obviously uh but we get plus 15 percent is that 15 percent from the cryo resonance so that's what i have for her sometimes or, or probably the first time that i use her i have the favonius lens on her so that's why we need the extra crit rate for her then you can see i have two piece two piece attack percent for her hi chongyan i'm reviewing your aunt right now <laughs> no my my shenha build so I have her two piece Glad and Shiminawas maximizing on attack as much as I can. Uh yeah, that's just it. And ER, of course, second um priority. So pawns none C0. And then both her skill and burst I did uh level up to nine because I think well, since you're using her, you have to make the most out of her uh, damage. And she does uh, give decent damage. Yeah, Shen has your auntie, right? <laughs> okay, and then... Who else? So we also got Yai Miko. Um, I do think this is her first run. Right? Let me verify that. Uh... Yeah, that was February 16, her first run. So, Yaimiko is another character that I really wailed on. <laughs> yeah, I I am honest about that. So, I did spend for this character. And this is my stats for her. Uh, weapon, of course. I went all out, all in, <laughs> and got Kagura's Verdi. Uh, really cool, really cool um, weapon. Well, it's definitely made for her, so I got it. And then apparently I do, or I did have spare uh, gladiators and thundering fury pieces, so that's what I used, and that's what we have here. So you can see the, this one's one of my best 
or is this one of the best? 32, 39. So yeah, this is one of the best uh, artifact pieces that I have. And then, actually, all, almost all of my um, best pieces are on Yai Miho. So we also have this one. Although the HP is um, the the rotten apple here. And then, of course, electro damage and... We have Mist Drolls for HP and Defense both. I don't remember if this is... I think this is already a 4 line so I still went for it. So I haven't replaced it but it's a good piece overall so I'm using it. And then crit damage... Well, um, I always mention that I base my circlet on, on whether my weapon or... This goes for everyone. This is what I always... Uh, uh, give as a tip so if your weapon is crit damage so it's better to use crit rate but since I have enough crit rate from her substats this is what I also say um, I back that uh, statement up with this so since I have enough crit rate for my from my other substats so I use crit damage here and of course you should have another uh, backup crit rate from from this so yeah constellation um, C0 I didn't get her uh, cons from her rerun I think I do think that she's really good even at C0 um, well apparently I just have good um, pieces so that's the case and then 6 10 10 because I I just love her <laughs> okay and then who else? Who else was from uh, 2022? Um, apparently, it's Kokomi, or was that her rerun? But no, I'm not gonna cover Kokomi yet because I got her on her third or second rerun, so that's when I got her and I skipped her first rerun, so maybe later. And Ayato, of course, or maybe later. Yeah, I'll, I'll put Ayato last because, like I said, I'm doing a guide for Ayato. So, check that out when I release that tomorrow, most probably. And then, okay, since I'm skipping Ayato for now, let's go with Yelan. Yelan was... Um, I pulled her out of uh, hype. <laughs> I, have to, I have to be honest about that. But I, I I don't regret it honestly, and her build is quite easy. Although I don't have like the best weapon. This is her from this is her uh, free weapon from from the event that that was released with her. So fading twilight um, er is more useful on her than than plain attack uh, substats so that's what I used and yeah I did say she can be built e easily because just slap on a lot of HP for her or crit uh, stats since she is HP scaling so yeah all HP and ER is also useful EM is also useful since um, I would assume that you're putting her in a vaporized team or if not maybe in um, dendro elements uh, element team so yeah and then hydro damage of course that would also affect her damage and then crit damage so I did it again with this one because I have enough crit rate or this is this this crit rate isn't really um, advisable I would always advise 60 to 70 crit rate but that's fine then cons c0 talents 8 and 9 but if you're a yelan main i would assume that you've leveled everything maybe even double crowned her so yeah and then her constellations are actually pretty good especially at c6 but i don't have any plans for that so okay my stats there and then who else did we get um Kuki I think it was yeah Kuki's um first run with Ito's 
um, rerun and that's I talked about that in my Ito guide um, I got C1 Ito because I was trying to get Cookie so uh, right now I have her with an EM build because I've been using her with with my Nahida and well in my Dendro teams so as you can see that's what I have for her right now and apparently by the way in case you don't know the the bloom hyper bloom reactions don't isn't affected by crits so this is fine and I just tried this out on her it does look good on her as well but I I would really um, use this on Kazuha uh, yeah and then tenacity because you know her skill is what we are banking on so EM and this one I just used this because it's a play well it's a placeholder um, uh, piece so as you can see it also has <laughs> a lot of defense here and, and really not for her so that's just a uh, placeholder piece and C5 apparently I don't have this yet and yes my talent one nine uh, three <laughs> okay you could actually build a cookie with the this one the key weapon for Nilo um, if not the other uh, EM pieces would work as well if of course if you're after the the uh, the hyper bloom piece or if not you can just use any ER weapon for her probably Favonius would be um, advisable more than more than sacrificial but that's up to you of course what else okay that's all for Kuki and then it was actually my first time to get Yoi Mia on her first rerun so I am using wait let's look at her stats first 64 176 uh yeah that's good enough for me because I am well that's the most optimal way to to use Yoimiya on the vape team so you get really crazy high numbers rust r5 and I didn't go for for her signature weapon the thundering pulse because I I also said this before um if I get the Thundering Pulse, no one else would use this R5 Rust and it will just be left rusted. <laughs> okay, artifacts, of course, Shiminawas. Since I got a crap ton of it from farming the emblem <laughs> domain. So, this is an off piece and this one, this one's fine, although wait why did I scratch my eye <laughs> so yeah we have sands attack of course and pyro damage ah uh, yeah this one sucks but I don't have anything else so that's what I use and then crit damage because I think that I have enough crit rate from her other substats so that's that's that and then constellation C0 and talents eight eight eight. Okay. Wow. I, I actually just found out that her EM is one hundred flat. All right. Next we have. I think I'm gonna mention Klee as well because I just got her, um, on her recent rerun on her last rerun. So it's this one. Uh, wow. This sucks. <laughs> Not good. Oh, I I think I just. Uh, swap stuff out from here, or did I, or did I not? Um, hmm. Because I think I have something else here from from one of these pieces. Probably this one, since this is the off piece. Although, oh, it's got <laughs> it's got seventeen crit rate. Can you imagine? Uh, so yeah, this is what I have for her, but. I am thinking, I am strongly thinking that 
these are not the ones that I first used on her because obviously this this is not good the 50 crit rate and 855 I don't know why I didn't bother to level these up but maybe next time when I try to to play her again so yeah and then it was our first time to get oh yeah my 50th character apparently is Tenari but let's first look at Kali although I think wait uh, I have to say it my Kali isn't built and I am not planning to build her so yeah you can see here and then my artifacts here are are the ones I am planning to use on Alhaitham so for myself I am using these artifacts <laughs> that's <was> strange <laughs> okay excuse me so these are my artifacts for well this uh, like I said these are for Alhaitham I'm just placing it on her so I know where to go next time and see I just got C1 I think one from one was from the banner and one from uh, the free the free collie that that was part of the from the event right then talents as you can see 146 so I didn't really bother to to level these up and then we have next is Tenari so Tenari's more uh, well built I actually used him in the abyss recently so my stats for her uh -huh. uh, I mean for him <laughs> 65 176 quite decent uh, and this one I just r5 this for him because I like the drip I am sorry but that's just <laughs> that's just me and then yeah wanderers troop so 30 crit value here uh, 14 12 and then em and yeah, I don't know why I used attack here, but I just don't have any other piece, so that's what I used. Okay, and then cons, of course, just one. Talents, 838, and yeah. It's actually fun to play him. Oh, wait, why did I go out? Alright, <clears throat> what else do we have? Oh, and the curse said Dory. <laughs> I tried getting Dory so many times that huh? I ended up getting Kokomi. So that's why I delayed Kokomi from, uh, from being reviewed. So I think these weapons are... Yeah. I just leveled this up for her. It actually looks good on her, so I use this. Artifacts, yeah, these are not permanent. Um, yeah, these are just standby pieces waiting to be leveled up. I haven't done it yet. I don't have enough um, fodders, and I am terribly sorry. Or rather, I'm fine with that. <laughs> And I didn't believe the leaks that Dory would be a free character, so I did try to pull for her. And I was punished for that by getting Kokomi, so I got her C1 here. But I'm not saying that <laughs> I was punished for, get, for getting Kokomi, but I don't really have plans to get her, but I got her because I was trying to get Dory, so that just sucks but anyway my kokomi is here with these are actually um, temporary pieces because i would like to have um tenacity uh, pieces on her rather than the ocean huge clam but 
this is fine and this should be eight this should be healing bonus by the way but yeah anyway so c0 of course and 183 because that's the only one i am using <laughs> okay and then who else do we have oh yeah and then sino sino well i did um uh watch out for this guy since he was like previewed a long time ago so i think that <laughs> well i did uh get his weapon so four piece thunder and fury c0 and 699 because i found it just a little underwhelming but the playstyle i really enjoyed it but you know Hi Ruru, thank you for for watching, for dropping by. Please uh let me know if if there's any issue with the audio or the video on your end, let me know so I know if I need to adjust something. Anyway, so I am currently reviewing my account, my own account, as we end our year. Alright, so Okay, great, thanks. How's your holidays, by the way? Your Christmas, or do you celebrate Christmas? <laughs> so these are my Sino stats. Uh, okay, thanks. And then weapon, like you said, I did get it. And then... Uh, my pieces are these uh this sucks the defense well we can't always choose our artifact so that's what we have off piece time piece for the em and quite lucky about this em <laughs> could relate to that bro yeah and yeah i don't have any other piece for this but i prefer to have of course crit rate also but the EM's good and we managed to get a total of 300 so yeah that's true that's true but it's really I don't know it's part of the Filipino culture as well right now although yeah <laughs> sometimes there's just this toxic uh, mindset that oh everyone should be happy but not everyone has that uh, <laughs> I don't know, not everyone can do that. And then, next on our list is Nilo, but I didn't get her, so I can't show her to you guys. And of course, Nahida, because Nahida was like one of the most awaited um, characters. So, this is my Nahida. I rescued her from, <laughs> from the hands of the doctor. Okay. Uh... That was such a bad. <laughs> uh, as we all know, Nahida's passive gives her um, crit rate, right? From her EM. So I get her uh, crit um, passive. Like, I don't know. Do I get the max? Uh, uh, I don't think I do, but that's good enough. And I would prefer to have this. EM at 1000 but that's just what we have right now and yeah I did manage to get her weapon so and this is my deep wood um, pieces not the best I kind of stopped oh no I didn't stop farming that I am still farming for Gilded Dreams for Ahaitham so hopefully i get you know passively these uh pieces so em em and i don't have don't judge me here i don't have em uh pieces so that's why that's why i have i have no choice <laughs> well i do have a choice but i prefer to use the four piece set on her and yeah I crown her skill and I, I I am supposed to 
to uh, level 9 at least, her burst, but I'm gonna use the the talent mats for Aita while waiting. Oh, Join wait, me. Wait, wait, okay, next! Who else? I think Nahida was the last one. I already skipped Yai, Miko, and Tartalia's um, latest three runs, so. Oh, yeah! Of course, Wander was my latest character, and Farzan. So let's go to Farzan first. And Farzan is just so annoying to build. <laughs> um, this is an underleveled Favonis Warbo. Uh, my first one, I have two of these. <laughs> like R5, the other one is with Goru and uh, I haven't maxed it out yet. Oh, I can do it now, but maybe later. And then, yeah, just a very decent set. I don't think these are properly leveled up. Yeah, all are just placeholder pieces. This should be EM. Oh no, I'm gonna keep this crit rate. Don't I have any other piece here? I'm gonna keep this uh, crit rate because I am using Pavonius, uh bow on her and C0 that's why it's so problematic to use her so apparently right now I'm not even using her so yeah that's it and then let's go to oh wait we actually just got Layla I forgot about Layla I am using Layla like more often um, her HP is almost 40k thanks to this weapon. I haven't even maxed it out for the the ascension, but we'll get there. And then four piece tenacity. Oh yeah, I did say that I wanted to use tenacity on Kokomi. So, but I like Leila even more. So I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Kokomi fans. Uh yeah. So this are her stats or her artifacts rather and her stats here um i would really um prefer to have her you know with with proper crits like a proper um dps off field or support but that's all that we have and i haven't leveled up her um talents yet because you know i i'm trying to focus right now on building a high time so I'm farming artifacts and during the schedule of his talent mats that's where I farm so and then wander so he's the last one I believe for for this year the characters that I got where are you okay and I named him Salazar because as you know I use the name Godric because of Godric Gryffindor from Harry Relax. Potter, so I think the name Salazar also fits him, so that is it. There we go. And then, so my stats, uh, my stats for Wanderer suck, <laughs> I have to be honest, but, oh, maybe they don't, but but I, I've seen better um, stats for, for him. So, 70, <laughs> I know, right? But that's just that's the first thing that that I thought of. So, seventy one ninety and lost prayer, and the same thing with um, Yoimiya. I didn't get his signature weapon, although I think it's also well. Of course, it's better, but I kind of like the drip of the lost prayer on him. Looks good. So, well, I did get this um, banners passed from, I think it was from the standard. So, well, I've got no one to use it for. So, I used it on, on Wonder. And apparently, I have the this uh, his four-piece set. But the stats aren't that good. Or the substats aren't that good. <laughs> we have a role for defense here. Um... Oh yeah, and this one, it's EM, it's an EM piece, just to build the 4-piece set. But, uh, yeah, I haven't found a replacement yet. Like I said, I am focusing on al -Haytham. This one's attack, but it's crit rate, and I already have enough crit rate 
from the other pieces and I don't have any more damage here so yeah but I always bring Bennett with him so I am good <laughs> C0 although I am tempted to to get his C2 but I I am saving for a item so I have to I have to commit to that <laughs> and then yeah that's it so that's all my characters that I got from this year uh, <clears throat> if any one of you want to see the other uh, characters or the builds that I have oh by the way I forgot about uh, Ayato but I think I'm gonna save his uh, his builds for for his actual guide which I'm about to release tomorrow so yeah that's it but that's just a preview <laughs> his his attack defense EM <clears throat> So yeah, I don't think I missed anyone else. Uh, yeah, we did cover everyone. So there's those are all the characters I got since January 2022. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I I don't know if you guys enjoyed this, but <laughs> I'm probably gonna do more uh, gimmicks next time. So that's all for tonight. I haven't had dinner yet. Uh, it's already 10 p.m. here so still got work tomorrow and I wish you all good luck on your posts we only have one day left for Ayato's banner and Raiden by the way and if you haven't seen my Raiden uh, my Raiden guide yet I'll release that next time uh, I'll think about that because I don't think I deserve to cosplay Ayato. The guys. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'll try to do that. I'll try to do maybe made costumes. <laughs> I, I actually am also excited to attend cons in Manila. Maybe, I don't know when I'll be able to come home, but that is one thing I'm looking forward to do. And of course, hang out with friends. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching and good night, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and have a happy new year. This is, again, my last stream for the year. And I hope you guys are satisfied. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night.